I like about Wesleyan theology is that it mediates the graces, the salvific graces of Jesus Christ in an abundant way, um, such that uh, people are transformed, and especially those most in need of transformation, they get free. They get free. So, I mean, you know, perhaps older theologians would have talked in terms of issues of guilt and justification. Young people today don't think in those categories. They're always blaming somebody else. Uh, they pass the moral buck, so to speak. But I think young people today do get the issue of bondage enslavement and liberation and this is why Wesleyan theology is so powerful because it is as I said in, in one of the pieces it's soteriologically optimistic Wesley is optimistic in terms of what the grace of God can do I mean I'm finding this even among my students this semester they resist the grace of God they're actively doing it they're they're telling God what God can and cannot do that's something Wesley didn't do uh, Wesley received what God could do in his life, received the presence of the Holy Spirit, and the shackles were